equality. Is that enough? I've searched every corner of my mind trying to find an answer to this question. Is it enough? For as long as I can remember, the ones who look like me fought for equality. But was that enough? Is it enough when we're both handed a 10-foot ladder to climb out of our holes, but yours only goes two feet deep, while mine goes further than any of us could know? A lot of us are just now getting light jackets when we drowned a long time ago. But this is what happens when you try to give the tools of the privilege without ever seeing the village. My answer isn't your answer. And yours isn't mine. Aiming for equality without practicing equity has been a mistake we've made time after time. I've seen the strongest minds break from all the weight on their spine. I've seen doctors, engineers, and world leaders never get their time, heads in the clouds just waiting for a sign. But we got the same opportunities, right? Wrong. We may play the same chords, but it is not the same song. It's my song. I had to play on my own, with no training, a broken instrument, and no way to practice at home. We simply learn to survive and find our own way because it's all we've ever known. But make no mistake, this is wrong. Equity. It can be created. We need more people that don't make us feel hopeless. We need more people that make us feel like we can pass life's test. More people that know our reaction to oppression won't go away unless addressed and provide us safe places where we can get that off our chest. You add in a sense of community and I promise we can do the rest because who really doesn't want to be at their best? To live through poverty, racism, and inequality is to forever work with the cards we've been dealt. But I've never forgotten a person who showed me they cared about the way I felt and I've always held love for anyone who gave me help. So imagine, what can happen when a group of people dedicate their time to helping you slay your dragons? When you finally start to find your way back and you become the person you never had, it sounds like an introduction to magic. The YWCA isn't an organization. It's a movement. A testament to everything women have already been doing and a bold statement that we ain't moving. Equity now.